Hello focus, Leon here and six months, half a year on testosterone. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Um, because like I said, it's half a fucking year and you know, I'm as close to being a year on testosterone as I am to being pre T, which is surreal. But for this video, because it is sort of a milestone, I figured I'm going to make the video a bit different. The last few videos I've well, sort of compared month to month. But now I'm going to sort of, first I'm going to do the voice update and then I'm going to do what's happened in the last month, real quick, just sum it up. And then, you sort of go into all of the changes that have happened and uh, you're going to see some pictures. Uh, so if you, you know, you like to see those pictures of my body parts, I guess that's the part for you, if that's your thing. But, on the occasion that this is, let's pour Let's pour a glass. Let's be fancy. So, cheers to testosterone and all the marvelous changes that have arrived. <laughs> okay, so let's begin with voice updates. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice pretty. Hey, my name's Leon Bell and this is my voice one month on T. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice two months on T. Hey, I'm Leon and this is my voice three months on T. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice four months on T. Hey, my name's Leon and this is my voice five months on T. Hey, my name's Leon and this is my voice six months on T. So, as for the changes the last month, uh, I can't do my high pitched scream anymore. I guess that sort of happened before, but I really noticed it this month because I can't do the <laughs> thing anymore. Which is. It was sort of my trademark, uh, at least by myself, when I'm just watching a movie and something happens, you know, it's dramatic. There's emotions, chaos, and my reaction is to make a high-pitched scream um, on the occasion that that happens. But I can't do that anymore. Uh, I also started to get like, hair on my chest. I didn't expect that to happen so soon. But, you know, even though I wish, like, my rat stash had come in a bit more, I wish have some pictures of my current rat stash, I wish that had sort of been, like, if I had the amount of hair on my upper lip that I have on my chest now, that would be, like, a decent moustache. Um, I'm not going to show any pictures of that because I still haven't had top surgery, but I'm trying to sort that out and, um, yeah, I guess. You know what, let's just jump into the other changes because that's really all that happened this last month. Um, also like hot flashes every now and then. Um, but you know what, not really any big changes last month. I think what's interesting is what's happened since starting testosterone. And that's what this video is, the milestone video, half a year on testosterone. So the first changes that I started noticing was bottom growth. and. All these videos have been sort of TMI, so this is the TMI part, if you can't handle that, skip to this point in the video. But yeah, so, bottom growth, followed quite quickly by being extremely horny, and just pretty much all the time. And um, then, eventually, I think a couple of months in on T, I started being able to come, because the way that you orgasm, uh, changes when you start testosterone, which is a bit interesting actually because it feels like it's more located down there like in your bottom growth more so than it's not as much of a full body feel anymore I'm doing a lot of like arm movements now but <laughs> I'm just a bit tired so yeah basically the way, the way you orgasm feels different on testosterone and also I remember in the beginning of starting testosterone I think this happened maybe like a month especially two months in testosterone but particularly like three months in testosterone my ass crack started getting pretty hairy uh, it's gotten <laughs> far more hairy since then but also now I'm not just talking about ass crack hair anymore I'm talking about legit just ass hair like on my ass straight up um yeah so it's like a peachy peachy fuzzy bottom i'm actually like the peach emoji you know the peach fuzz actually my ass right now so i guess that's fitting <laughs> but i think that's it for when i did hornness uh, which is a big thing i can't go a day without jerking off um well i can't but it basically hurts um at least mentally <laughs> Uh, it's ridiculous, but 
And I think around like maybe one month on tea, I could notice something in my voice happening, but it didn't really happen for real until like two months on tea. That was when I really noticed that, oh, something happened and we liked that. But now my voice has gotten a lot more bassy, especially when I sing, for example. That's enjoyable. Here's a short clip of me singing now. Versus a clip from the same song one and a half years ago, pre t say that's a noticeable difference and I, I'm enjoying it <laughs> I know a lot of people are like saying they are enjoying my voice now and um, you know what that's the best compliment you can give me along with like you smell nice fuck me already uh, <laughs> because like, if someone says you have a comfortable voice or like you have a nice voice I mean hey <laughs> I know my face has also changed on tea. I think when I actually started noticing something, it was more around like three months on tea, but something had already happened like two months. But then like it gradually just keeps changing and now I definitely have a more of a like square face than it did pre tea. You probably saw the thumbnail, but if you didn't notice the, th the thumbnail, here you go. These are my faces, <laughs> my, my two faces, my two personalities, um, the two genders, if you will. Um, pretty and post post during tea yeah um and i think that's one of the most enjoyable face faces <laughs> oh my god i sound full of myself say that's one of the most enjoyable faces i've ever seen like look at that beauty that stunning marvelous now um basically i'm just enjoying actually looking more like a guy now i don't have as much of a feminine face anymore i still do have some feminine features but you know it's better than it was. My eyebrows have started filling in as well and that's definitely helping out with my face. And then, but honestly, my favorite change has for sure been my voice because that dropped relatively quickly, I would say. Um, but as for like other changes, I'm just hairy as fuck. I'm gonna be like a proper beast when I'm older. Uh, and you know what? If that's the price I have to pay, it's not like I love the idea of bearing ridiculously hairy, but if it's, if that's what I got to you know deal with in order to get all the other changes, it's like I don't really mind. Uh, it's just gonna make me look more masculine anyway, so I guess it's like it's just all right. Uh, I like the aesthetic look of being sort of more not as hairy, but I I can't I don't really care. Um, so it's fine. Uh, I do notice that at the gym, for example. I, well, I look basically as hairy as any other cis guy there, so at least it's helping me pass, which is great, and I, like, misgendering doesn't happen at all, hasn't happened in a while really, but it's not a problem anymore, whatsoever, ever, and I love that. I think that's it for physical changes. I don't know if like muscle mass has happened uh, that much yet, but here are some pictures of me now. I mean, I think that muscle growth has sort of become easier on testosterone, but honestly, I think just veins has been a more prominent one because I did already work out before testosterone and I've stayed consistent with it during tea. Um, so I don't really know like how much tea has made me gain muscle faster but I think it's probably up a bit of course because that's what tea does but my veins have come in a bit more they aren't like popping yet but that's gonna happen I think because I am working out as much as I am so you know what cheers to that one because we love veins in this house that's it for the physical changes I think except also by the way people have said that my nose has changed I didn't think about that or like notice it really uh, until people pointed it out around like four months on tea. But now I do, I notice it. My nose has changed and uh, it's gotten bigger, I think. I don't really know. Uh, but, you know, well, whatever. <laughs> it's not like one of the changes that you look forward to on the testosterone. Like, you know what? I can't fucking wait until my nose gets bigger. Like, damn, that's what I want. Uh, but it's a fun change, I think. 
then again, um, we covered the TMR part, we covered the physical part, but now we're also going to go into the mental parts. I know I mentioned this one in pretty much every single T update video, but feeling more calm and stable. I, I know I'm saying like I feel more calm now on testosterone and I'm sitting here fucking shaking in my chair, but like there's this inner stability that I just didn't have pre T. This sort of confidence within myself that isn't really confidence or cockiness but just feeling more secure and feeling more comfortable existing really and not being a fucking insecure wreck not insecure as in not believing in yourself but just being dysphoric because dysphoria has lessened a lot starting on testosterone it's still like bad as shit especially on some days and top dysphoria I can't, but that's for that's for another day when I'm going to actually start um, booking my top surgery. I'm hoping it's going to happen soon, but uh, the system here in Norway is shit, so fuck that for now, I guess. Um, yeah, but emo emotionally, I feel more stable now, and regulating emotions has become easier. I feel like even though you like know, become more testy or whatever on testosterone. It's more natural to me, and therefore I react to it less emotionally. Even though I might be like more testy inside, I also calm down a lot easier because the emotional reactions I have, and I think just the hormones I have in general now are more in tune with what my mind expects and what my mind is comfortable with. So in the end, I'm not really any more testy. Actually, I'm a lot more chill now than I was pre-T because I, I just can't be bothered because I feel more comfortable within myself and I think existing now um, is generally a bit more enjoyable having right hormones in your body uh, yeah I think I know I do cover that one in every single video but fuck that um, because that's like what's happened it keeps increasing every single month and by the way uh, I've started becoming more flirty, or I don't know if it's actually me being more flirty or me actually starting to become sort of handsome now, but I don't know, I'm just vibing with people and uh, it's a bit enjoyable. I, I'm not like actually flirting with people, but I've had like some people think I'm flirting with them, but I'm in reality not. So I'm wondering a bit what that's about because I don't think that, that really happened before being on testosterone. But we'll let, let's just see how that <laughs> develops, I guess. So yeah, I think that's, that's a fun change. Being more confident and um, in tune with existence. <laughs> Another emotional change is that if I'm sad, it's a bit easier to cheer myself up now because I'm sort of more like, okay, you know what? Here's the plan. Here's how we're going to stop being sad. <laughs> it's okay to recognize being sad and that's what I do. But when I'm sort of I'm done recognizing my feelings and validating the fact that they are there. I come up with a plan on how to get over it. Uh, and that's what I did before as well, but now I'm sort of more determined to do it. And if there's something I want to do in my daily life, like changing my bed sheets, like executive dysfunction, um, which is caused by my ADHD, for example, it's gotten so much better on testosterone. It's I don't know if I can completely blame it on testosterone though, because I'm mentally doing a lot more better now. Um, there are a lot of things in my life that have changed, um, especially in the last month. I've had like a huge turnover in my life and I think it's for the better, to be honest. Um, I think I'm starting to reflect in a way that's a bit different, but it might just be growing up, to be honest, uh, and experiencing certain things in life. But testosterone, I think, has made me more calm. And it, because of that, I can sort of reflect on the things that happen in my life and learn from them a bit quicker, um, just in terms of coming up with a plan on how to move on and take things from the experiences that I make and do something. Um, I feel more productive now and I want to create change in some kind of way, <laughs> uh, which I didn't before. Um, and I don't know if I can, like I said, attribute that to testosterone alone, 
but it's interesting. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, I think those are the changes for six months of tea. Um, physical changes are uh, pretty simple. You can see from the pictures just how I've changed and my voice and everything. And then emotional changes are just honestly bless testosterone. And uh, it's gonna be fun to see the rest of the changes, especially in a couple of years' time. I'm gonna be hairy as a bitch. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, to Lou Focus, stay safe, take care, eat food, drink water, get some sleep when you need it, and I will see you next time. Bye.